Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, he is good and his mercy endures. Thank you, Lord, for fixing everything. Oh, Jesus, fixing what is broken, Lord. Oh, God, your wisdom in us that has been given to us, treasures of wisdom in Christ, we draw unto you. We draw from your wills, Father, living water that refreshes our soul. Hallelujah. Your faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We shout for joy and we are glad, Lord. Hallelujah. We are glad to be here, Father. At your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Thank you, Jesus, for filling this house with joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glorify. So our youth is renewed like the eagles, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. And we thank you that we have boldness and boldness to enter in through to your throne of grace through the blood of Jesus. And Father, I thank you that the presence of God is already with us. The Holy Ghost has been given unto us to be witnesses for you, Lord. And so we thank you, Lord, even as we sing these songs of praise, that your spirit is moving in this place, bringing joy, bringing gladness into the hearts of people. And I thank you for revelation knowledge that is preached, that opens our eyes, that opens the eyes of our understanding to be enlightened, to know the hope of our calling. And we praise you and we honor you, Father. Jesus, you said that when we abide in you and your words abide in us, that we will bring forth much fruit. And yes, Lord, that is our heart to bring fruit in our lives, to not live a life that is wasted, but to be fruitful in everything that we do. And we know, Lord, without you, we can do nothing. And we trust in your ability. We trust in your strength today, Father. And every day of our lives, we put our hope in you, for you will direct our paths. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's praise God this morning. God is good. Are you glad to be in the house of God today? Amen. Amen. Let's praise Him and worship Him. We're going to sing from Luke 2, 52. The verse that says, Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and man. It's not God's will that you stay all your life in one place. He wants you to grow and become strong in your spirit. You know, you're not just flesh and blood. You might, that's the only part that people can see. But the real you is the spirit of God that lives inside of you, the spirit that God has put inside of you. And when you strengthen your spirit, when you feed your inner man, you get strong from the inside to face whatever comes on the outside in life. You don't have to do it through your own physical strength, trying to strive and get things to work. Let your spirit begin to show you and give you direction how to do things so we can get strong in our spirit. You know, when we're singing scriptures and singing songs of praise, we're strengthening our spirit. You know, it's easy to respond to life from our flesh, from our feelings. But when you come to Christ, you begin to learn how to respond from your spirit. And the spirit of God will give you wisdom how to handle situations, how to respond to any situation that comes by. That's what we're going to sing in this song. I'm going to grow and become strong 
in my spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. All of you joining us online, sing along with us and let's praise God together. I believe that God is able to move in your life as well and give you direction and wisdom. And even as we're encouraging ourselves to grow strong in our spirit, make that a priority in your life that you're going to grow strong from the inside. When you're strong on the inside, you'll be able to face whatever life circumstances come on the outside. Because whoever is born of God can overcome the world. The victory that overcomes the world is our faith. So we pray today that you will be blessed and encouraged to rise up as an overcomer. Amen. Praise God. Let's grow strong in our spirit. Hallelujah.
praising Him. The Word says that we are more than conquerors through Christ who lives on the inside of us. If God is for us, who can be against us? The next song that we're going to say is, This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Your faith can overcome any circumstance. You know, faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. And faith also, it's built up as we speak His Word. So we're going to sing in this next song, Who We Are in Christ. We're more than conquerors. We're overcomers through Him. Let's build up our faith and continue to praise Him. Hallelujah.
1 Corinthians 6 20 says that we are bought with a price so we glorify God in our body and our, in our spirit which are God's so we're going to sing and say yes Lord my body belongs to you my body is the temple of the living God and this is a repetitive song that we're going to say we are we are the temple of God you know when you come to Jesus you no longer belong to yourself anymore you belong to him and so your body is now his temple that's where he lives in and so as we begin to say this song, yes, remind yourself this is who you are in Christ Jesus. You know, the world brings so many pressures and things trying to make you conform to their identity. But in Christ, you have already received an identity in Him. So you don't have to strive to become something. You are already in Christ. You are a new creation. That's what this next song is all about. I am the temple of the living God. Amen. Let's praise Him.
got it when we come to Christ we know father that you have made our bodies the temple of the living God there is no guilt there's no condemnation in this temple hallelujah be free from guilt and condemnation you are the temple of the living God God lives in you amen hallelujah thank you Jesus no guilt there's no fear
from condemnation. Oh, when you know that the Savior loves you, He loves you, He loves you, He loves you so much, so much of freedom. begin to be free in Him when you know that you can come before Him. I'm accepted in you. I don't need to be accepted by anyone because I've already been accepted in you. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we glorify you. We glorify you. We glorify you. you are already accepted. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The woman of Samaria, she, in the book of John chapter 4, she was completely, she was a messed up person. And Jesus came and met her. And he showed her how much he already accepted her. She had tried to earn her way through by finding relationships but she had never come to a place where she was satisfied. And Jesus met her at the point where she was. In fact, she came to draw water at a time when no one would go to draw water at that time. And Jesus comes right there to her. And he says, I am the living water. Because he knew what she was searching for. She had an emptiness on the inside of her, which is why she was trying to fill it up with relationships that were not working out but when she came in relationship with the master like we were singing this song we were saying there's joy and peace as I release she had a release in her and she was able to go back with joy and she was able to say come and see a man who told me everything that I've done because she came in touch with living water the one that can satisfy her because the first satisfaction, the place you need to be satisfied is in the Lord. And everything else that you're looking for will come. It will be added to you. Matthew 6.33 says, Jesus said, seek his kingdom first and all these things will be added unto you. So you don't need to find your completeness, to find your wholeness in something or in someone. In Christ, you have a complete identity already. He has already accepted you. And every other thing that you're searching for, it comes from through Him. When you're abiding in Him and His words abide in you, you will bring fruit in your life. She was able to find her calling when she first found her satisfaction in Jesus. Maybe you're searching for acceptance and satisfaction in something, but today the Lord is saying, come to me first. Let me satisfy you first. And out of that place, as you're satisfied in Him, all these blessings will start to follow you. It will be added in your life as you're satisfied in Him. Don't try to find it in a person. 
find it in a thing. The wholeness that you're looking for is in Jesus. Be satisfied in Him. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for reminding us that we're already accepted in you. And we confess these promises that our bodies are the temple of the living God. So we will not use our bodies wrongfully or just use our members for unrighteous things because now you live on the inside of us. And so, Father, I thank you for bringing revelation knowledge to your people this day. That we are accepted in you. That we are already chosen in you. And I pray this day, Father, that their hearts will be open to receive from you. Thank you. Lord, we know that without you, we can do nothing. So we abide in you and your words abide in us. And we will bring much fruit in our life. Not live a life that is wasted. But live a life that is fruitful. Thank so that we can stand before you and hear you say, well done, good and faithful servant. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Let's begin to look at the Lord and say, thank you for accepting me. Thank, thank you, Jesus, for accepting me. Thank you for accepting me. Amen.